Hey kids, welcome back to Kids Church. I'm Faith. And I'm Mariah. We're on this incredible journey. We have been following the children of Israel's journey from being slaves in Egypt to being saved and brought out into the desert. What a journey it's been. I heard the Israelites did a lot of camping. In fact, they camped for a whole 40 years. I love camping, but that is a really long time to live in a tent. Aren't you meant to just camp for one to two weeks? Some pretty incredible things did happen to them while they were camping though. You'll have to wait and see. It's truly mind-blowing. Incredible, amazing. Did I already say incredible? <laughs> okay, you'll have to hold on to your sleeping bags now. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Lizzie. I run the Kids Church at our Westgate campus in West Auckland. I've loved learning about the story of Moses. Imagine how amazing it would have been for the Israelites having God actually fight for them. He was with them from the beginning in Egypt and right through into the wilderness. In Egypt, He protected them from the plagues that we learnt about. The enemy was struck, but God's people were safe. As they exited Egypt, He went before them as a pillar of cloud by day and a fire at night. When they got to the Red Sea, they were worried because the Egyptians and their chariots were coming after them. But the angel of God moved behind them so that it was light where the Israelis were and dark on the Egyptian side. They couldn't come near each other. As Moses lifted his staff, the Lord drove back the water so that there was a wall of water on the right and on the left. And the Israelis walked on dry ground. Imagine how amazing it would have been for them. Big walls of water either side of them, even higher than their heads. Um, today we're going to make us a mug. Today we're going to need chocolate, marshmallows, and some cookies. So we're going to um, do saf, saf, and saf, and saf. A few minutes later. Mmm, good. Can I eat this cracker for you? Is it good, yeah. Rosie? guys, now it's your turn. The things you'll need is a piece of paper and a pen. Do you guys love camping? Well, I do. Let's play a game. So you've got to think of three words that have anything to do with camping, and I'll do the same. And if we get the same words, you'll get two points. Let's think of them now. Hmm. take on your camping trip. Good idea. How about you draw a picture of your guy's camping setup? One minute left. Great job.
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job, guys. Here are the ones I got. A torch, a tent, and a barbecue. Did you guys get any of these? Well, how about you send your guesses to us at your campus Facebook page. Good job, guys. Bye. God is a God of order, and it is important that we put the tent together in the right order, according to the instructions. The Israelites lived in tents for 40 whole years, so they were very good at moving their tents. God really longed to dwell with his people, so then he gave them not only instructions to follow for their lives, the Ten Commandments, but he gave them instructions on how to build a tent to meet with them. This was called the tabernacle. God's presence was so special and he is holy. People could not just walk into the presence of God, so God showed them how to get themselves right before coming into his presence with the pattern. They had the Holy of Holies, which was a special place that only the priests could go once a year. This special place had a thick curtain that separated it from the rest of the tabernacle. The glory of God lived there and the priests would go in and ask God for forgiveness for all the people's sins. How amazing is it that when Jesus came, he tore the curtain and separated us from the Holy of Holies. Now, we don't need a priest to dress up and go into the sacred place once a year. We have our very own access pass straight to God. We go through accepting Jesus and we can live washed clean of our sins and close to God, filled with the Holy Spirit every day. What great news. Hey kids, here we are at the City Impact Church campus here in Invercargill. Now this is so exciting because I've never been here before. So we're gonna go inside and check out the kids' church and maybe even get a tour. Oh, this church, look at all the shop. Yeah. Well, it's time for church to start, so let's see what City Impact Church in the Castle is like. And we might even see Pastor Daryl and Roberta. Let's go. Oh, Churches. So if you're new, you here's where you register. Thank you. Woo wow! Look how cool it is in here. Here we are here at the under fives room. Look how many toys there are. It's so exciting! Oh, wow! Here's the overfives room. Let's check it out. Oh my goodness, look who I found. Come. Hi. Hi. Well, we're going to be asking some of the Invercargill kids some questions, but first let's ask Emma. How do you feel close to God? I feel close to God when I pray and talk to Him and when I listen to worship. Wow, that is so exciting. Me too. Let's hear what the other kids have to say. These kids love connecting with God. So we're going to ask them, kids, how do you like to connect with God? Natasha? I like praying to God. I like praying in the night. I like praying stuff. I like reading Bible. Wow, that was amazing. These kids are awesome. Meet my friend Eklis. Now, he loves rugby. I know some of you guys like rugby. But not only does he like rugby, he loves Jesus. So Eklis, what's your favorite way to connect with God? My favourite way to connect with God is to praise Him, praise and worship. Wow, that's amazing! 
Yeah, and not only is Eccles a great worshipper, him and his family come down every Saturday night to clean church. He is such a great servant heart. I'm here with my friend Ava, and she is amazing at drawing. Check out her art. Wow. Wow, so cool. Well, we're going to ask Ava the same question that we asked Eccles. How do you like to connect with God? I like praise Him before I go to bed and it helps me do amazing dreams. Yeah, that's so amazing. And um, Ava was saying that she really loves praying and it helps her actually sleep better and, like she said, give her amazing big dreams, which is just what we've been talking about. That is awesome. And Ava is one of our bold kids in Kids Church. She got up and sang a solo at our church production in front of over 200 people. Wow, that's amazing. My name is Florence. I'm at the beach today. And every night before I go to bed, I read my Bible and pray. It's fun to pray. Just like God called Moses to come up the mountain and spend time with him, he is also calling us to come and also spend time with him because he loves us so much and he wants us to experience him in a real and relevant way. Isn't it so amazing that we serve a God that loves us so much? And not only does he love us so much, Jesus came down to rescue us. And not only did he rescue us, Jesus wants to be our friend. So if you want to invite Jesus into your heart today so that He can be your friend and that you can live the best life that God has made for us, say this prayer with me. Dear Jesus, I thank You that You love me. I thank You that You died on the cross for me. I'm sorry for everything that I've done wrong and I'd ask that You would forgive me and come into my heart today. In Jesus' name, Amen. Wow kids, that was such an awesome decision. Here's three steps to help you with your journey with Jesus. Number one is to pray. This is spending time with Him because remember, He loves spending time with us. Number two is to read your Bible so that we can learn more about Him. And also, if you don't have a Bible, make sure to email us at kids at cityimpactchurch.com so that we can get a Bible into your hands. And number three is to join a great church so that we can learn more about how to live God's way. That's it. I'm so proud of everyone who made that decision today. See ya.
Hope you enjoyed this episode camping in the desert. It was so much fun learning about the tabernacle and how the Israelites spent time with God. You can meet God anywhere. Absolutely. Let's make sure that we spend time with God this week. See you next time. Bye. Bye.